Knack 2, a game that let's be honest is a sequel that no one asked for, to a game that was fairly mediocre. Now, I actually didn't think that the first Knack was as bad as everyone said it was. I didn't mind it, but I could definitely see where everyone was coming from in regards to its flaws. So when Knack 2 was announced, I really didn't know what to think of it. I just went with it and said to myself, well, surely it can only be better, which I can thankfully say that it is. Knack 2's main strength is that it takes advantage of concepts that were present in the first game, but were never fully explored or utilised, and it gives them more focus, leading to much better, varied and enjoyable gameplay. Now, it's not great by any means, but it's definitely a huge huge improvement on the original. The story is about Nack and his friends trying to uncover a mystery behind the activation of ancient robots that have been dormant for years. It's pretty basic and, well yes, there is more to it with a couple of twists, but it's basically the plot of a generic blockbuster superhero film, which is one of the game's biggest shortcomings. It's still as predictable and forgettable as the first game's plot, and there is a lot of corny, terrible dialogue that just makes you cringe. Credit where credit is due, however, since they did at least try to give a bit more background to the world with this story of some ancient battle long ago or some shit, and yeah, even that is as generic as hell, but I'll at least give them credit for trying to give their world a little bit more depth to it. The gameplay, on the other hand, is much better. The combat is much deeper and more varied with more moves that Knack can use, and ones that take advantage of the concept that Knack is made out of loads of tiny relics. There's more varied types of enemies that behave differently and each need different ways of defeating them. There's even a skill tree where you can unlock new moves and upgrade current ones. There's also a bigger focus on platforming with a lot of sections that are, okay, very clearly basically designed platform challenges, but they're still good and they help to break up the gameplay much better. But there's also platforming sections that involve Knack actually utilising his size changing ability, with areas and puzzles that require you to shrink down to a tiny Knack to access them, and I'm glad they finally made something out of that idea. There is a little bit of basic puzzle solving thrown in, and one or two moments with this tank thing that is almost seems pointless since it appears so little. However, there are a lot of quick time events which really suck. I mean, look at this. How much better would this bit would have been if you're actually playing it? And despite the fact that the gameplay has more variation, it's still very repetitive, just going through a platforming section, then fighting, walking down a corridor, more fighting, and so on. And unfortunately, the gameplay is not varied or interesting enough to keep it exciting, and it just gets stale if you keep playing it for a while, and it lets the game down quite a bit. I can say, however, that the co-op is surprisingly fun. Me and a friend played a bit of the game in co-op and actually quite enjoyed it. Not blown away, but I think pleasantly surprised is the best way to put it. Unlike the last game, the co-op here has much more focus, with the second player now being able to do everything the first player can. Plus, there are some really cool moves that you can only do in co-op by working together. One move in particular that me and my friend maybe found a little bit too much fun. And well, there's not much else I really have to say for Knack 2. While it's still nothing really brilliant, it has taken on the criticism of the last game and improved it a ton, and is definitely more better than it has any right to be. It's a pleasant game that, while still flawed in areas, is still enjoyable to play through. And with that, I'll give Knack 2 a final rating of a 7 out of 10. And since it's not being sold at as a higher price as other games, I see no harm in giving it a go. Like me, you may be pleasantly surprised. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you feel like it and have a very nice day, and I'll see you later.